Good Thursday morning. Hi guys, it's Teresa from Critters Crochet. Thanks for joining me this morning. I'm so glad you're here. And for those of you who are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you will enjoy what you see today and, and I hope you will hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So, I wanted to come on today. Um, finally, my hand is really starting to feel good. The redness and the bruising is starting to go away. And so, I've been working on some um, dish towels. Uh, I'm part of a group. I may have said this on here before. I'm not sure. But I am part of a group um, in our county. And we're called the um, Henry County. Well, well not, Hen not Henry County. But we're called... Um, homemakers okay it's a homemakers group and what we do is uh we sorry i just went blank on the name for a minute <laughs> uh we um get together as a group and um we have ladies that do all kinds of whether it's kinds of crafts crocheting sewing knitting whatever kind of craft um, baking, canning, I mean, we do, there, we have ladies that do anything and everything, um, as far as crafting and homemaking skills, and, um, we do a lot for our community. We, um, uh, we have a big, um, get-together next month, and it's called Homemakers Holiday, and, uh, we're, our, each of the groups, we are one group in our county, and there are several groups for the different communities in our county, um, that do things for the for our county and help that help out and so what we're doing next month every November we do a homemakers holiday and we just make our makes whether we crochet quilt knit whatever we do whatever craft we do we make things and we come together and we sell what we've made and all that money stays in our group and then what we do as a group is we discuss and decide uh, what nonprofit organizations we can donate our money to. And so we divide that money that we make from Homemakers Holiday. We divide that money out, and that goes back to the community. Uh, we also do in, um, in August when we have our county fair, one day of the county fair week, we have what we call the country store. And we bring in, because people are there all day from morning till evening, so we bring items to sell there, and um, we we cook food, um, we sell sandwiches and chips and drinks at lunch, we do casseroles in the mornings, and uh, breakfast things in the mornings, and casseroles and things at lunch, or at uh, dinner, and that money also goes back to the community. So I'm really, really proud to be a part of that group, but so for the... Um, for the homemakers holiday this year, we had a lot of people asking for dish towels. So I've been working on dish towels and I should have wrote this down before I ever started the video, but I cannot remember the name of the person. So what I'll do after this video, I'll have her, I'll have the YouTube link in the comments or in, in the comments. I'll have the YouTube link in the description box so you can check out uh, where I got this pattern from. But this is just such a neat it's all, it came together so fast. Here's one of the towels. Hold it up so you can see the colors. This striped towel, it's grays and blues that I did. And it's all done with uh, half double crochets. You just chain a chain of 61 and then start your half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then it's all just half double crochets. So I've got one that I made that's gray and blue. Let me fold that back up. And you can probably see the colors better when I fold it, but there. Kind of fold it in threes, but there's the gray and the blue. And then I made another one that has a like a teal, I guess you'd call or a aqua color, I don't know. And a yellow. And they were so easy to make. I mean, I could make one of those in about a couple of hours. And then, I do remember where I got this one. 
This was from Cinnamon Stitches. Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches uh, had a tutorial on this hanging towel. So I've made this purple one. And this was really super easy. This one only took me an hour. And I'll link her video in the description too. But it's just, you do, um, I can't remember the starting chain, but you it's just made up of singles and doubles. Single, double, single, double, single, double. And you just repeat that for every row till you get it as long as you want. And then you do a decrease. Then you do a decrease to start gathering it in here at the top. And then when you get down to about five or six stitches, then you just double crochet across for however many rows you need to make your loop big enough. And then this can hang on your stove or, it, or if you have a little hook or a towel rack and just hang that on there. And I've made this one and I've also made a yellow one. So that's what I've been busy doing. It feels so good to finally be able to pick up that crochet hook and start crocheting. So guys, just an update too, before I get off here, I am up to 261 subscribers. I'm telling you, I'm really hopeful that I'm going to hit that 500 mark by the end of this month. So thank you for those who are subscribed. Thank you so much for those of you who have shared my channel with your friends. I really appreciate it more than you know. And um, so let's root on to getting close to 300. And one more item will be added to the giveaway. So um, remember, Monday I will be announcing all the rules. And the giveaway will start on Monday. And it will last till the end of the month for you to get your entry in. So next Monday I'll come on here and explain all the rules to all of that. So, I hope you guys have a fabulous, wonderful Thursday, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye, guys.